Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, a show that examines all aspects of sexuality, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Join our hosts as they discuss age-old questions, common misconceptions, and the latest topics surrounding sex. They'll tackle topics about sexuality from the complicated to the hilarious and everything in between. GSMC Sex Podcast is your show for all of your questions about sex, even some you might not have thought of yet. Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, with a topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. So, hello, everybody out there, my lovely little sex fiends. You know, we always like trying a lot of things new. And taking a twist on old sex practices and turning them anew. But one in particular that seems to let us enjoy and is invigorating all over and liberating is having sex in water. So guess what today's topic is? Sex in water! Yay! (laughs) We're going to talk about some tips, different things you can try in the, you know, water, whether it be the shower or the bath, your choice. You can go from a shower into the bath, or if you want to get really risky and go and have sex in the pool or sex in the pond, any body of water will work. You know, we feel really liberated in water and comfortable. It might just be the fact that we were conceived and stayed in a sack of fluid for nine months and we felt protected there and, you know, comfortable there. We were getting our needs met in water and going in the water. Some of us are not comfortable in the water, but there are some of us most of us who are and going back into the water they find comfort there and can just lose themselves in the water you know it is a way of having a heightened sense of intimacy any way you want to feel it it might just be the quiet sound of the water running or Just if you hit the water, the ripples that are going across the water. It doesn't matter. But when we are talking sex, there are some things that you need to know. There are pros and cons, and there are some tips out there. So let's get this party started and start. If you're in the shower, make sure it's really, well, you know. Granted, you might want a shower that's big enough for two of you, but the close quarters in there might be just that much better but it's just the feel of that water coming down on the shower head and allowing you and your partner to get really close and feel the water falling on your bodies the pros to showering any sex in the showers (laughs) it allows you to test out some standing sex positions Not like you haven't tried them out before, but you're trying them in the bathroom and in the shower and the water. Uh, It is a way for great solo play. I mean, what is good for two is even good for one. And if you're in there, you could take the, if you have the removable shower heads, you could use that. 
to massage your women, nipples, your clitoris, all that stuff. Just stimulate those genitals and those sexual body parts. That's, you know, most shower heads come with different settings. There's a pulsing, there's just the regular flow. You pick which one's going to work with you. Make sure, though, that you do not spray that within your vagina because that that could really set off your pH levels. So those are the uh, bad point. That's one bad point when, you know, using the shower head. So just watch what you do that. Now, cons to shower, which I can't see them being any, but hey, who says there isn't? There is a risk of slipping. You could always use a anti-slip shower mat for your safety. Uh, so, cause that will give you some traction in there. But I can't see that being a problem because there are ways to get around that, obviously. But while you're in there, try and, you know, navigate what you got in there with you and your partner. Make sure that you, you know, navigate the entry position. Really, it's getting close to your partner. You could take some soap and start lathering at the slipperiness of you going right over your partner and your hands, you know, feeling your partner's body down their back. Up again, you know, stimulate your partner in the shower. It is really, really an enjoyable place. You have things at your disposal in there. Just remember, for women, please do not put any inside because it's really one you can get an infection to. It will set off all your balance, your pH levels and everything in your body. It is not good for inside. And yes, I know there is a douche, but that has uh, particular things that it puts just so that you maintain your natural pH balance in it. So remember, water does not do that <laughs> alone. Now, if you're in the bathtub, get a couple, uh, get some bath bombs, put them in there. It's really, you can sit on opposite ends of the bathtub and under the water, play with each other and get yourself stimulated. Use your feet, use your hands, you know, your knees. It doesn't matter. The pros to being in the shower, I mean, um, in the bathtub, sorry, unlike the shower sex, you have the option to sit down or lay down comfortably. You can be completely submerged in the bathtub okay obviously the cons comes with any type of water sex possible where it is there is a potential for infections now i was always taught take one and you may think we're crazy but the most i'm assured a lot of people do know this if you're going to be in the bath they only say, like, get a capful or so of, like, bleach or something, put it into the water because it somewhat balances out. It has nothing to do because the content of water in regards to the little minimal amount of bleach you put in there actually counteracts any, if you're going to be submerged for a while and having sex, kind of sort of helps towards not getting any infections, believe it or not. But, uh... You know, adding bubbles, bath salts, or oils to the water has a tendency to up your risk for developing a urinary tract infection or some sort of infection. So just be careful with that. But the bubbles are always a positive in the bath. And you could probably play around in the bath and think of some different things that you want to try in the bath. You can have, like, lay down, obviously. There are different things you can do in there because you're a little bit more 
leverage per se as opposed to sit in the shower but you can also swoop up your shower there are uh handles that you can suction cup onto the wall that they have there or if you have them built in utilize those to support yourself there are lots and lots of things again uh just watch out that being in there too long or whatever that you know with regards to any kind of infection and that includes a yeast infection and you do not want that and if you happen to get one which i'm hoping that you are taking precautions not to uh just hold off from any more water sex that's the only bad part to water now when you're in the bathtub don't just limit it to underwater sex uh you can sit on the edge of the tub while your partner goes down on you or you go down on them totally totally up to you but make sure that you prop yourself up because if you have bath salts or something in there you will be a little slippery with bubbles or anything just uh pay attention if you're in a hot tub great alternative to a regular bathtub and you got the little bubbles to stimulate your little massaging bubbles and the jet streams that come in there as well um they are good for you know getting in a little foreplay while your partner is having the jets go up against her nipples you can be like just stimulating the other end or she can be have her other and getting stimulated by the jets the water jets while she's giving you a blowjob hey you know it is take advantage because hot tubs have ledges and seats on them so they give a little bit more alternatives uh and a little bit more things that you can do in there going from like the shower to the tub or, and then going into a bigger tub that's why they're in there you're sitting in there uh it doesn't prevent any way you're having sex doesn't prevent pregnancy so remember that uh, you have the same chances all around it is sex so don't think that because you're in the water that i know most women are set told when you have your period and you go in the water your period stops for a little while you know that could be an old wise tale it may work on some people but not everybody so if you are using a condom which we'll get into a little more of just make sure you know use like one that it doesn't have all kinds of when you're using a condom you can use it in the water but you get one that's stronger because remember you're going to get in the water and if you're in the going into hot tub they do have chlorine in that whereas it could cause it to deteriorate the chlorine so you remember all of that uh you can also rip or break a condom like i said we'll go a little deeper with the condom issue and things that you can do regarding that a little later in um always remember to continue with your birth control methods if you don't uh if you are practicing not to have children right now or you're just having some fun remember that now you can try this <laughs> if you want a comfortable position that allows you where you can rock yourself like into that good orgasm and keep you going you can usually just you know face your partner and straddle them as you would on a regular seat or you can put the seat inside if it's sturdy enough but remember hot tubs come with seats um so there are a lot of uh positions that you can use for arousal utilizing the jet streams that are in the hot tub make them up try them out be creative if you're in a pool obviously 
unlike bathtubs and hot tubs, which is limited in space size, pools are a little bit more open in wine. Yeah, you got a little bit more space in there. And for the most part, you're getting brave for going skinny dipping to begin with. So, there are lots of room there. You can go underwater, go vertical, horizontal. You can explore, work, you know, work the buoyancy into your sex. That's like the biggest thing with pools. You have more room to move around. You don't have to stay in the center. But if you want to, you can play a little sex chase in the pool because you have the room to do it. Um, unfortunately, with pools, because of the chlorine, just be very careful because your bigger risk of having infection is in the pools. You would think not because of the uh, chlorine and stuff that is killing off stuff. But remember, you are penetrating, going in and out. So whatever's going in and you're coming out, you're bringing with you. Um, ensure that, you know, you're not breaking the rules either. You're going to stay clear of public swimming. But I'm assured if you're getting risky in there, you're going to have sex when there are other people in it. It's the thrill of knowing that you can get caught. I don't know, I'm sure it's done. But go in to the deep end or take advantage of the shallow end. They have stairs over there, remember that. Uh, you can float on your back and get really creative with wrapping your legs around your partner's neck so that you can like stimulate you. Uh, things like that. You know, you can do the ocean, the river, or a lake. These are all exhilarating places to be. Waterfall. Okay, you may have to travel for that one. Unless you make your own. And on that note, because we will pick up from this point, we are going to go to our first commercial break. And... So go get that drink, go get that snack, come back, get relaxed. Start thinking of some things you want to do with your partner sexually in the water, wherever that water may be. And I will meet you back here for more Sex Talk with Andra after a word from our sponsor. Linens and Hutch, a family-owned company who specializes in soft and cozy, high-quality, on-trend colors and patterns that never go out of style. Everything for your bed products at the best possible price. Linens and Hutch is able to do this by designing and working directly with expert manufacturers so they are able to cut out the middleman and pass the savings on to their customers providing affordable luxury since receiving my sheets in comforter from linens and hutch sleeping is so nice rolling around on 90 GSM microfiber, which is a down alternative, which is so soft. And for those of you with sensitive skin, it is hypoallergenic and easy to care for. It has made sleep that much more enjoyable and relaxing. I cannot wait to go home and snuggle up with my sheets and with a glass of my favorite drink. So, linens and hutch. Provide fast and free shipping. They are so confident that you will love their bedding products that they offer a 100-day trial period, money-back guarantee. Linens and Hutch knows you will be so satisfied that they are offering listeners this week 60% off four-piece sets just by going to their site Placing your order at linensandhutch.com backslash sex and using the code GSMC sex for the softest sheets ever.
Still on the search of that one true love? On the limbo in this crazy world of dating, marriage, relationships. Well, listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Relationship Podcast. Your one-stop podcast for everything about relationships. Thank you for tuning into the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, getting back to our topic of sex in the water, or water sex, However you want to say it or call it, it is sex in the water, and it is liberating, exhilarating. There are many places that you can have it in the shower, in the bathtub, in the hot tub, and you got some help in the hot tub with the stimulation from the jet streams. Also in the shower, good for both uh, doubles play and singles play using the shower head to simulate areas so just do remember not to for females please do not get water up into your vagina because you do risk the uh, you have the risk of ha- getting an infection that way we don't want that we want to have fun now when we left off on the last segment was we were talking about having sex in the ocean river or lake so it is still a body of water if you're in there it is exhilarating especially trying not to get caught and i know a lot of people have done this on the beach you're out there oh with your little pal your partner or whatever you just you know we can see what you're doing way out there so you yeah, make it out in there. Who's to say you're not going to sex right there? Or you're just getting your partner off. You're under the water. Especially if the water is kind of not completely clear. They can't see in it. But you need to remember most lakes and things like that. Them being clean. There are a lot of places. I'm sure everybody knows the pla- uh, lakes or the oceans where not to go in their place of living or their state or wherever you are from uh everybody has them and we all make jokes about them so there are some beaches and lakes or ponds that are cleaner than others and you know where to go there is a lot of freedom of the open water sex there's an adrenaline rush when you're outside, you're relaxing in the water, uh, and you can lose yourself right in the moment. And, you know, you're in nature. Simple as that. And that's a total uh, get off for you guys. But unfortunately, unlike the bodies of water in your house, the shower or the bath water, you're not, you're not really sure, like I said, how clean the water is. I'm assured that you've probably tried it, but they do, some lakes and things and ponds do carry parasites and you don't want them on you. So, like I said, you probably know where to go. And make sure you're not violating, <laughs> violating any city audiences or state laws. That is very big. Or at least if you are violating them, make sure you don't get caught. Come on, the thrill of that. You can also uh, go in a little 
body of the water where it's more private and no one can see you so you're you know you're basically who's gonna find you and you can not be bothered so that's uh there are things to do where you can swim in an area which is shallow enough for both of you to stand up and that no one is going to see what you're doing underwater so you could stand up and do it and whatever you want to so and the good thing with water is is that buoyancy because when you're in the water your weight is kind of carried by it so it's a little easier where you don't have to put a lot of effort into uh, holding your partner up for long lengths of time while you're standing there you can do it and the water helps so that's a good thing now if you want to stay in a little bit of the deeper end of that or whatever that body of water is try incorporating a flotation device hey that's what they're there for you will be saved at the same time and getting yourself you know getting off uh you can lay face up on the raft or an inner tube which is much easier and why not let them just grind up against you or just it, no one's going to see you're in an inner tube you can prop yourself up in it and they can just do whatever they want it looks like the two of you are just sitting there on the inner tubes enjoying the water you know some tips and tricks and we're gonna go a little further into water sets because this is not the end of it but remember yeah keep it private it's not your bedroom and there are a lot of places where you're gonna get at that's with that body of water for water you know gonna have sex in the water you get a little risky it's not like a door where you can put a lock on it so it is outside a lot of people can see you and you just want to make sure that you are very discreet in how you do it that thrill and exhilaration of being caught or just knowing that you're doing having sex in the water while there's a bunch of people out there is get you off just as well but just do remember the young kids do go to the beach um you can do different things you don't have to have penetration when it comes to water there are different options try different ways of stimulation while you're in the water and i'm sure you can come up with some interesting ways for it to stimulate your partner under the water um, now when you are in water which is very very important and you're going to use a lube please use a silicone based lube because uh, water-based lubricants obviously will rinse off uh, and water isn't exactly a great lubricant and with if you're going to do penetrating sex under the water going back and forth especially if it's with a woman it we start to lose that lubrication under the water so stick with the silicone and use that you've got a it'll stick and stay with you um yes condoms will work uh but to remember to put them on before going into the water please and thank you and you might want to lube that up with that silicone lube as well if you ejaculate into the water it isn't gonna catch you pregnant it doesn't float back okay if he's right there uh, 10 to 1 it will go but if he's, he's got to be halfway in halfway or something for his little spermatodes to go up there it is highly highly unlikely so remember high temperatures kill the sperm especially if it's outside the body the minute it's outside the body and it kill, gets killed within 
second. So if you're in the hot tub and you're having sex and he ejaculates, they're going to die. Unless that's what your aim is for, but then he's not going to take him. You know, he's not going to withdraw or pull it out. And just make sure that's what you're going for. Pregnancy is still possible. You can't get away from it. Uh, on land or off land, in the waters, it won't kill the sperm because it's inside of your vagina. So if you don't want to get pregnant, do not think that that, if you're making up a myth of, oh, I'm going to have sex in the hot tub and I can't get pregnant. Yeah, you can. Come on. If he ejaculates outside of your vagina, well, then yeah, because you're not going to get pregnant. They're going to get killed right then and there. But as long as he is inside, it's no different on land or in water, my dear. Um, it is also possible to get sexually transmitted diseases as well. So don't think that it is not. Again, you're being penetrated. If it's good old vagi penis, vagina, penetration, sex, whatever can happen on land happens in the water. Because he's inside of you. That's all it is and that's what it comes with. Do make sure that you do practice good after care, after water sex. Very, very, very important, especially with that. It cleans everything out. Go to the bathroom, have yourself go pee because it'll push all that bad bacteria out and basically really rehydrate yourself because the water is going to uh, take some of that away. And you want to have fun while you're doing it. We don't want, <laughs> we don't want to believe that we are invincible. Okay. You're not. Water is water. It may be invigorating. Sex might be great, but the same things, same risks occur on and off land. So remember that. We all have things that we want to try in the water. It will, it works the same. It's, you know, just remember that. Now, there are ways that, you know, there are always questions that come along with everything and Know that, like I said earlier, getting caught comes with serious risk. You do not want to be labeled as a um, sex offender in the pool. Okay, so remember that. There are major consequences, fines, arrests involved. We don't want that. You can, Some places probably even put you in jail. Who's to say? But. A lot of people do get caught having sex in public. Uh, now, like I spoke with all of the waters, not all water is created equally. Be mindful of where you're doing the sex and the cleanliness of that place or that body of water as it relates to how Sec, you know, sexually transmitted, or just the fact of getting infections of having intercourse in the water. It is fun just to have it and to be where you are with your partner in the water. Like I said, water is fun, fun, fun. And you make what you want out of it with the sex. Now, 
let's go through a little bit of a guide or just some reminders for sizzling sex in the water. Obviously, keep it on the DL, the down low. Like I said, sex in the bedroom. We'll lock the door. Although it's not going to stop your neighbors from hearing you slamming your partner's head up against the bedboard every time you go in and out. Or the fact that your partner is on top of you and riding you. That completely is up to you. <laughs> Try something new when you're in the water. Because if you're trying something new on land, water has... You could try something new as well. Like I said, with regards to the buoyancy difference in there, you can still use some toys in there. Uh, and they do make waterproof toys. That's a big thing nowadays. So that you can bring them into the shower or into whatever water body of water that you are doing it. Uh it's funny, a lot of people are worried, like I said, about the the floating semen or the pre-cum that comes out. That is a myth if you think that you are not going to get pregnant. So with that little bit of a reminder of what we just talked about, we are going to take a break here. So replenish that drink, replenish that drink, come back, get re relaxed. And I will meet you back here with some more sex talk with Andra. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, continuing on our topic of water sex, when we want water outside and it's a nice hot summery day out, what do we think of the beach? Now, I'm assured most people out there, or at least a good amount of people that have had sex on the beach and not the drink, actual sex on the beach, it was romantic, you were on a date, it was late at night, or some beaches have those dunes, You're probably hiding behind the dunes and just going to town with your partner. Obviously, uh there's a little difficulty with the sand with that and a little bit of friction that will come along with it. Those are little cons to that one. Uh, but it is fun, I'm assured. Whereas just that being outside in nature, having a little fun with your partner, enjoying uh, the lovely sun. You're on the beach, you're listening to the birds, you're listening to the water. People are walking by that little risk of being caught. It is there. 
However, you can have sex on the beach without actually having to go to the beach. You know, we've all seen the, the you know, that beach scene in movies and how romantic, it, you know, thrilling it is. You might even have it on one of your top ten things to do before you die. Yes, that favorite little bucket list. But really, it's a bunch of little bubbles all over. I love the beach. Don't get me wrong. I'm assured that that a lot of people have tried it and, and or have done it. But just the mere thought of having that caught up in your genitals is, uh, it's the thrill. It is still illegal too, though, if you get caught, so I'm just letting you know that. But there are ways to capture that sex on the beach thrill without even, you know, risking any, any danger or harm to our lovely genitals, which are our gentle parts. Get, you know, get the mood going. Get out your sexy swimsuit. Put it on. What you're going to wear out. If you want to, you know, you have this whole fantasy where you come out in this particular lingerie on the beach or something, use that. Role play. The slinkier, the better. You're one that you're going to be able to, you know, you can wear in the privacy of your home, so please do that. You can find an area in the house that you want to lay out a blanket and put out the cooler, you know, yeah, the cooler, actually, <laughs> with some drinks and stuff in there. That's what is good about it. But we, you should know, what's, what are the smells of the beach? Is that coconut smell of suntan lotion, the sea, the the water, the salt, whatever. Get some candles that smell like the beach. Get uh, this, uh, what is it called? Uh, if you want, just put uh, get your suntan lotion and put it on because it's going to give you that smell. Get a uh, whatever your favorite experience. You know, use it. Don't put it right onto you right then and there. Have your partner use your suntan lotion that you generally use at the beach to put on you as foreplay, and you can rub your back and put a massage with it so you get the smell from the candles you have an area in the house where you're going to be it's open you can even put um what's it called sheets upon the walls and get uh if you have a projector or something and you can get little ones nowadays that make a big projection onto the wall of a beachy scene. Okay, so you get that. You got the candles that smell like the beach. Get some air fresheners that also give off that smell of the beach. Like, it is just engulf the room with the smell of beach. They're, they make all kinds of scents out there now. There are so many. It is too many to talk about that's how much there is make use of your linens obviously uh, if you bring a blanket to the beach lay down the beach put a pile of towels over there if you just go with a towel in you because you walk to the beach or whatever the case may be because it's right there lay out towels get the real big giant beach towels use those Put them on the floor. If you have an enclosed deck or some, a mudroom or something, use that. You are making it so that you are getting the feel, the smell, the everything of the beach. So 
remember that. Now, mix up something beachy. There is a drink called Sex on the Beach, just like I said, and not the drink, <laughs> but make one. Or make a drink that you would, a big picture of Kool-Aid or whatever, put sandwiches into the cooler, get the cooler out and stack it like you would stock it, like you were going to the beach. Put all that in there. If you're on a tropical vacation, in your mind, put pina coladas or miotos. Uh, obviously, you can make the drink sex on the beach if that's what you like. Get out, get drinks that have that tropical taste to them. You're now giving your taste buds that beach. Uh, if you want, put a little bit, uh, get, what is it called? Uh, it's, it's like a big tub basin, but it's one that you emptied out and you can just put it to the side. It's not one that you have in your bathroom. Bring that out, put some water in it, and move from your little beach towel to the bathtub to get that water effect if you want it. You can do it. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about water sex. And with that, you won't have all the, you know, the scare of having dirty water or whatever. You can have, you'll have clean water. You can make it warm. You can make it cold. You can make it what you want just to get it where you want it. Completely up to you. Set the scene. That's what it's all about. Then you switch out your light bulbs. They have sunlight light bulbs. Ones you would use for tanning. Who's to say you might just get a tan? But get those particular lights that give off the effect of the sunlight. They are uh, called full spectrum light bulbs. They also boost your vitamin D, which is a good thing. And everybody needs it. That's why in the summer, our vitamin D levels are way up where they need to be. And that is why. It's just like the sunshine. So you're getting actually the vitamins you need. And you're enjoying yourself. Now we're going to go with tricking our ears. Like I said, we are going to put on sounds. They have a lot of sound apps out there. They have water sounds. They have beach sounds. They have air, wind, you name it. They have so many of them. And with technology being the way it is now, you could come up with all kinds of things. They have waterfalls. They have the ocean. They have birds. If you want to put a combination of the two of the sounds... On one thing, you could put, uh, if you have a stereo system, put on there one beachy sound. Then on your phone, put another beachy sound or another, like the birds or something. And on another phone or another device, put on, uh, what's it called? Waves. So you're getting that surround and the three, you know, the different sounds that come on the beach. Now your ears are tantalizing and they're hearing all of this beachy sounds. The scene is being set. I'm already at the beach. <laughs> Boy, I'm just setting this up in my mind and the beach is coming to me. Um, if you are not going to use a tub basin or water and you are uh have access to a hot tub or a private pool like you have in your backyard use that for the water because you can also set the outside up like that i think it generally would take away from some of the effects of the smell and everything because and in a closed space, the smell is going to stay there and be very, very enticing. So, once you have all of your beachy sounds and everything that you need 
for beach sex, water sex, all the sex that goes. Foreplay, go right to it. Total turn on, don't waste your time. But you have everything you need right there. And you can try so many sexual positions in so many areas of where you're at. And you don't need to even worry about being caught because you set your own beach up. You can even just, you know, while that light's on, you're going to turn off all the other bright lights that are on. And you're going to get it, you know, you're going to get what you need with the sound. If at point that point in the beach, you're done with the beach, you know, after a while, we don't stay at the beach. We go home. And we clean up or whatever. Move it to your private pool. Completely up to you. If you have an underground pool or a built-in pool, shall I say. You have um, steps or sta- like seats within there. Same thing with a hot tub. Take advantage of it. You're giving yourself that tropical staycation. Especially in today's time with the COVID out there, this is your beach. You got your drinks you like, you packed yourself a cooler, you've set the scene, sound, smell, everything that goes along with it. What more? You don't need to go to the beach but at least when you go to the beach which would be too funny too because once you go to the beach now you will know you'll be like thinking about oh my god you'll be so turned on when you go to the beach that you probably want to do it on the beach but because you set it up at home so it's really I mean think about it water's there Get the shower or the bathtub if you don't got a pool. You just set the scene. You're wearing your sexy bathing suit, especially the one that you probably couldn't wear in public. And you're getting all, you're having your partner, you know, rub you down with suntan lotions. You got the scent of the candles, the sounds, the surrounding sounds of everything that goes on on the beach. It is just without the added little tiny rocks that are going to get, maybe get up in your vagina or in that friction that it may cause going back and forth when your partner penetrates. So remember that. Even if you're going to be alone, you can set the scene for yourself and just masturbate to your beach scene. You know, you get a partner and ask them how, if you'd like to to come downstairs and go to my beach or something I set it up boom 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 there are ways ways to do this you don't need to worry about anything because it's everything is right there for you now we are going to take our last break of the show so completely up to you if you want to get some more drink or some snack. But do remain relaxed. Have that beachy thought in your head as you masturbate. And what you're going to do to your partner or the both of you together. Who's to say? And we will come back with our topic of water sex or outdoor sex in general. Because there is hiking in there as well. And continue our little topic so do stay right where you are and I will meet you back here for more sex talk with Andra 
Are you tired of the same old news? Are you sick of the seemingly endless political spin and negativity? The GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast is a weekly news podcast covering all the top positive and uplifting news stories. We cover stories that will inspire, uplift, and remind you of the good in the world. Tune into the Golden State Media Concepts America Still Beautiful podcast to get all the great and positive news stories of today. Download the GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, welcome back to the last portion of our show today, my show today, where our topic is Water sex, outdoor sex, making the beach in the house any way you want it where there is a body of water around and knowing that using that water is going to get you even hotter, make that sex even better. You could try out positions a lot easier, but there are some downfalls to it too with like everything else especially when it comes to that beach sex so do set the scene at home so that when you go to the beach that's what you're thinking about the real beach who's to say you may just have a what a beach right in your backyard and at night time you sneak out there but do be careful not to be caught Because that is a serious, serious fine and offense. Although you are thinking about it and how it was done and you got caught. You're probably going to get laughed at by probably the people that have tried it already and didn't get caught. But, you know, there is all kinds of outdoor sex. And when it comes to a body of water and you're thinking of that lake and pond, do think of hiking, having sex in the woods, and moving it to the pond or the lake. Remember, those particular bodies of water do carry some bad little critters along with them. So be very careful because it is, you're more likely to get an infection from there. So please do practice safe sex in that, please. You know, going in the woods, you know, kids finding that little spot where you guys can make out and no one can see you. Uh, Spontaneous quickie in the woods. Do remember to watch out for a poison ivy, though. A poison oak. Not probably a fun thing to have in our genitals. Uh, I'm just thinking of them because I've had poison ivy. Not there, but, you know, I'm assured 99.9% of the population has had some sort of poison ivy or poison oak. It was not fun on our other extremities. Imagine what it would feel like being in your genitals. Oh, goodness gracious. There are rules, though, to having sex outside. Very straightforward, like as I was telling you. Just be safe. Be prepared. Don't do anything illegal, or at least not get caught. Very, very, very important. If you want to uh, start out in the woods and then go into the water, we have spoken about that, so you're all ready for the water sex. Remember, you're not going in somebody's 
private property. But when you are um, on that camping trip or going hiking, you and your boo, your partner, go all right ahead in, in your tent. Get that little quickie out in the woods up against the tree. All those uh, good things like that. But do remember, in some hiking areas, they do have cameras. So, because we do have our park rangers who are watching the area as well. That's why our parks in our lovely wooded areas are beautiful. And they want to keep them that way. And... We're just trying to enjoy the scenery. Getting a little groove on in there, though. And having memories of our own. But they do put cameras out there. And believe it or not, which most people probably already know, they're probably nature um, scientists, if you want to call them that. Or people who do put out cameras to watch for wildlife. So those are out there as well. And they see you on a going to town on your partner on every freaking tree in the wood. And just having sex like you wouldn't believe is going to give them serious nightmares, I'm assured. Or they might just use it for their own personal porn. Who is to say? Either way, if you don't mind it, and they don't mind it, you're okay. But I don't think you are the wildlife they were looking for. But you could probably also show them something new that they didn't try before. Who is to say? Who is to say? Um, there are a, you know, there are places where you could find, try and find them as secluded as possible. Uh, if you're going to go out there, you're going to go, you know, make sure you're wearing something, which is going to let you go commando and having easy access to your partner so you can just get in there and do what it is you need to do. Um, if you have a, like your partner, if it's female, wear a dress or somewhere where you could just easily you know with elastic waistband pull it down get it down you know get going get it done if you gotta get up and quick it very quickly and out of that position because you hear something easy to pull up very hard to do jeans when you gotta squeeze your butt back into them but there are some positions that you can do and the first one on our list is the bench warmer. Whoop, whoop. Sports and vents. <laughs> now, with the bench warmer, you this is for this twist on the side saddle position. That's what it is. It is a twist of the side saddle position. The giver sits on the edge of the bench, and the receiver positions their body so they are sitting over the giver's penis or object obviously sex toy in this way uh while you're sitting there those e easily accessible clothes you could just be sitting there and making it look like you're the talking but in reality you're actually fondling your and getting your partner off and they're on the verge of just exploding while somebody's standing there talking to you so, remember that. Uh, another one would be the assisted missionary position. And with this position, you know, those pool floats are an awesome uh, prop or section that you can use. But they can make for great sex props for the assisted missionary, too. What you do is you place the pool float under your partner's butt to change the angle of penetration ever so slightly. 
definitely you are going to keep this out of the water just in case that you know you float away but sex in the water obviously there are a few things that had difficulty but we also talked about how to use the pool the pool float to our advantage in water so that's what you want to do another one would be the lawnmower <laughs> Now with this, the res uh, the partner places their hands on the ground, and then this is so that their body is like bent almost, where it's almost like the downward uh, dog yoga position. Then the partner is who is doing the thrusting and the musting there uh, stands behind you with their hands on your hips and this is basically to control the depth and the speed of penetration try you know go on a grassy lawn be up against the tree or something get a little bit of leverage on there just have something to lean on obviously an all-time favorite is the reverse a uh, cowgirl which, with sex on the beach, is obviously, you know, you can actually uh, probably do this one on the beach. Which, like I said, just remember when you're doing it to try and uh, make it where, because if it's sand, you're going to mess up your knees. It's uncomfortable. And try not to get any sand up there. <laughs> Uh, have a towel, a couple of towels, like laid completely out, the blanket or whatever. Um, there's the tree pose. Obviously, we're using a tree as our natural prop for this outdoor sex. It's sturdy. It's upright. It is very ideal for a standing sex position. Obviously, with this one partner, the person who is getting penetrated leans the front of their body against a tree, and then the other partner stands behind them and penetrates them from behind. Obviously, if you're feeling a little like an acrobat, you can also try this one facing your partner. Just make sure you don't take the skin off your partner's back <laughs> you don't want to do that rubbing with the friction up against the tree it's the other way they have something where they put in their hands there but you can have it where you wrap your legs around your partner's body and you can hold them now the next one will be the fire hydrant obviously this is an oral sex position you have one partner sit on the ground obviously have a blanket or a towel or something there and you perform oral sex while your partner stands really good and high grass if you think about it because you can stand there the grass is going to cover the half of you and have your pants down and you can, no one's going to know what you're doing if you make it look like you're not you know, it's kind of hard, but if you could just restrain from showing your excitement, shall we say. Picnic spread. Ooh. Obviously, getting good use of the patio furniture. But we don't want to destroy that, do we? Because that stuff can be very expensive. So, obviously... Most hiking picnic grounds have picnic tables. The one, the partner who is receiving, mm -mm, sits on the high part of the table with their feet on the bench, facing the person given. 
Now, you can wrap your legs around your partner so you get uh, increased friction and all that stuff like that. Make sure so we don't get splinters in your partner's butt. To put a blanket on the table, please, and thank you. <laughs> Pitch a tent. What did I say in the beginning? Have a tent. Go to town. Rattle those. Rattle that tent. Um, this is really funny because obviously tents offer privacy, and if you're quiet enough, you can get you can get away with it when there are people out there. But if you're camping in a shit campground, being a little bit more quiet, completely up to you. Who cares? They'll be sitting outside wondering. They, you might just get them to go and have some fun themselves. Um, they suggest you, suggest you try a classic comma sutra sex position called expanding. Ooh, it even sounds sexy. For this one, the person who is getting penetrated lies on their side with the person who will be penetrating, generally the one with the penis, or the strap-on, or the sex toy, either or. And it's kind of like spooning. You lift the top leg very slightly of the person receiving you and this allows for deep penetration. Now these you can modify to your satisfaction obviously and always remember enjoy having sex. This is the end of my show so as always Practice safe sex, if not for your partner, for yourself, and vice versa. If you're trying anything new or anything that you are doing, please educate yourself, communicate with each other, and have consent. Very, very, very important. As always, it has been my pleasure. So, Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I ask that you please subscribe to the show and write a good review. Also, please, it helps me and it helps GSMC Podcast Network. Also, please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are there. Please like us. Even, you know, write something that you want to have discussed on the show. There are so many things out there, and everybody has different thoughts about sex. So let us know what they are. As always, thank you. For tuning in and have a great night. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, part of the GSNC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsncpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast.